What's up, guys? Um, today we're going to be talking about the armor of God, right? This is something in Ephesians um, that kind of gives us the basically the equipment to be able to handle day-to-day -day attacks from the enemy and just um, live in this world where there's a lot of evil and how to defend ourselves. Um, as Christians, we're constantly under spiritual attack from the devil. It's true. It's scary. Um, but it doesn't have to be so hard because we are soldiers under command of God. Um, and this is war, right? So I'm going to read the scripture for us. It's Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. It says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the, this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for the Lord's people. So we got the armor of God, right? The shining armor, really, really cool illustration of how we should be equipped each day. So we're going to break down all these little um, points and kind of talk about them, right? So the first one, we have the belt of truth, right? So what does this mean, right? Having truth in our, in our arsenal, um, in our armor. There's two little things to talk about, right? There's truth about what God says about the world, what God says about us, right? We want to know what our identity is in, right? Just as humans, not just believers, we want to know the truth, right? We want to know the truth and what we believe in. And we want to know what God says about us because people are going to call us a million things, especially as Christians, and we need to know the truth about that. We need to know the truth about the world. It helps us with decision-making, discernment, right? And then there's this other side where we want to be truth tellers. God hates lying. God does not like lying. And, you know, we don't want to displease God because we serve God. And so we want to tell the truth. And that also involves telling the truth of the gospel, right? Spreading the message. Next, we have the breastplate of righteousness. So, so what even is, what is righteousness? We hear that word all the time. What does it mean? Basically, just rock, walking the right path, right? Walking in obedience. We're serving to, to, to walk like Jesus did, right? We're never going to obtain that. We're never going to be as good as Jesus, obviously. But uh, we, want to, we want to walk in a righteous path. We want to walk the right way and live honoring God and trying to model Jesus's life over and over again. So we have the breastplate of righteousness, right? It protects our heart because we have fleshly desires and temptations um, that are never meant for us to act on, right? So if we're walking on the path of righteousness and we start to stumble a little bit, that can lead to sin and that can lead to a multitude of sins, just like David and the whole Bathsheba situation. We do not want that, right? So we want to be equipped with the breastplate of righteousness, then we have the shoes of readiness that comes with the gospel of peace, right? The shoes of peace. This one is talking about sharing the gospel, right? You think about, I don't think it's an accident that um, this one is shoes, right? Because when you go out of your house, you go walking, you put shoes on so you don't jack up your feet, right? In the same way, we want these shoes because we're going to be actively going, telling new people about the gospel, right? As Christians, this is all of our callings. doesn't mean you have to be a pastor. doesn't mean you have to be a minister, but you have to share the gospel, it's important, man, sharing your testimony, sharing what God's shown up, sharing the biblical stories. This is important as a Christian believer. And so we're equipped with the shoes that come from the peace of knowing God to be able to be sent out and do this. Next, we have the shield of faith. We all know what faith is, and sometimes it can become like a cliche in a sense, which is horrible. But yeah, just have faith. Just oh, have faith. It'll be okay. No, no, this is battle, guys. We got to remember this. As a Christian, you will face trials, you will face persecution, and you will face doubt. So when you have that shield of faith that is going to deflect all the flaming arrows that the enemy can throw at us, right? You want to have a firm foundation, a strong foundation in your faith so that when doubt creeps in, it doesn't overwhelm you. So that when trials come, they don't tear you down. So you don't succumb to any evils that the, that the devil is trying to make you feel. Um, we have to have faith in God, right? That's very, very important. And Jesus can provide that faith to us. If we're lacking faith, ask him and he can help you out. Next, we have the helmet of salvation, right? Salvation, what is it? It's that we're saved, right? We're going to heaven. We are going to be co-heirs of the kingdom with God, right? With, with Jesus. With Jesus, we're going to be co-heirs. And this should be motivation to go out and spread the gospel, to have faith, to, to exhibit the rest of these, man. Because without 
Jesus coming down and dying for us, we would not be saved, right? What happens if you take a nasty blow to the head in the battle, right? You're probably going to die. But because of this, we don't have to die because Jesus already did, right? We are saved. Now we have the sword of the spirit, right? Oh, this, this one's my favorite because it's the only offensive weapon in this, in this armor of God. And so we get to attack the enemy with the sword of the spirit. Now, what is this? This is the word of God, right? Scripture is ammo for any situation. You're feeling glad. Okay, rejoice in the Lord, right? If you're feeling lack of self-worth, if you're feeling um, troubled, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling mad, if you don't know what decision to make, Scripture can help you with all of these things. And if you start to memorize it, then you can use it to attack the enemy and guard your, guard your heart, guard yourself um, from anything, right? And it's the Word of God is active. It's living. It's breathing. So memorize, memorize Scripture. And there's one more part that I want to um, include. It's in verse 18. It says to pray in the spirit on all occasions, right? Imagine if we prayed 25, 8, right? We prayed all the time. How much better our lives would be, right? That doesn't mean our circumstances would get better necessarily, but we'd have more peace. We'd be more happy. We'd, we'd understand um, that God has a plan. We'd have a better relationship with God. We would love others better, right? The list just goes on if we prayed all the time. So if we couple all of these things together every morning, pray this prayer. You're going to find opportunities where you can exhibit and defend yourself, right? And this is going to improve our relationship with God. Um, really cool illustration, the armor of God. And these are all essential things. These are what God equips us to face the spiritual warfare in the battle. Um, and if God's saying to, you know, put on the full armor of God, I think it's pretty good advice. So um, I'm going to pray for us and um, then we'll wrap up the video. Lord, thank you so much for who you are and your character. Thank you for the armor of God, Lord. Um, you've given us this outline of things we should carry with us all the time. And Lord, I pray that every single person behind the screen does, including myself, Lord. Um, we're thankful for you. We're thankful for your word. Lord, send us out and let us be um, disciples of you, Jesus. Um, we love you and it's in your name we pray. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like, maybe subscribe to help support the channel. Um, Leave a comment on what you want to react to next time or any thoughts or any additions you guys have. I want this to be kind of a cool community for us. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.